Hi and welcome to episode 31 of Mind in Bloom TV by Adventures with Flowers with me Kendall Platt where I talk about all things mindful gardening and floristry and how they can help you to feel calmer, happier and less overwhelmed. My mission with Adventures with Flowers is to encourage busy women to feel able to give themselves a break more often. Even five minutes a day can help you feel less stressed within a few days. The reason I care so deeply about this is because after overloading myself both and at work and at home, I developed quite bad anxiety and was on the cusp of burnout. And if I can prevent you having to go through the same thing, then I'm going to do that. I feel passionate about changing this societal norm of doing everything for everyone and putting ourselves last on the list, not just for us, but also for our daughters. Undoubtedly, the best way for us to do that is to show them that we take time for ourselves every day to unwind, to grow and to put ourselves first for just five minutes out of the 1,400 odd minutes in a day. A wonderful tool that I have found to help me begin to take small amounts of time for myself every day is growing and arranging my own cut flowers. And in this series, I hope to share some of the benefits, methods and reasons for doing so. In this episode, I'm going to share with you the ways in which my 12 month Mind in Bloom membership programme can help to reduce your stress levels. The first way the programme helps you to do this is via the monthly mindful gardening activity that you will receive in the post once a month. I talked in last week's episode, I think that's episode 30, about how gardening and floristry can help you to feel calmer and happier. And one of the main ways that came out of that was um, that gardening and floristry are great activities to do mindfully because they allow your ever running brain to switch off and focus solely on the activity that's in front of you. Watching your seeds that you've sown then grow into plants and then into plants that are flowering gives you a real sense of pride and can really boost your self-esteem and your self-worth. The membership also contains plenty of other ideas to get you outside in nature and feeling less stressed. There have been a number of studies that link well-being and nature, um, but one in particular actually showed a link between spending 20 minutes outside in nature every day and a reduction in cortisol, which is the stress hormone of um, up to 10%. If you are struggling to see where you will find five minutes in the day, let alone 20, then that doesn't mean that a membership isn't for you. Membership encourages you to start small with just five minutes a day to yourself. An activity done daily soon becomes a habit. So this will mean that you feeling less stressed will become a way of life in a very short space of time. You will also find that once you manage to find that five minutes, that five minutes will slowly grow into perhaps 10 minutes, depending on the activity that you're doing, if you're enjoying it. Um, and then it will grow even beyond that, especially once you start to see the benefits that taking this time for yourself is having on the way that you're feeling. So the next section of the Mind and Bloom membership that um, will help you to feel calmer and happier is uh, what I call the life lessons in nature. Each month there is a theme that is related to the monthly mindful gardening activity and within the community there are articles that discuss the ways in which plants handle that theme um, and how we can start to take inspiration from them and apply those behaviours in our ways of living. At the end of the day, we are natural beings too. Um, and sometimes you just need to strip out all of the experiences that we've had, the social conditioning that um, we have had in our lives and just go back to basics. 
a couple of the upcoming themes are vulnerability and it's okay to fail. So they are quite hard hit hitting topics, but ones that I think it's really important for us to address and that we need to in order to be able to uh, find our calm and find our happy. The next um, way the membership helps is via journaling prompts. Now these go hand in hand with the life lessons in nature and they are there to be used to help you explore those themes within yourself. I feel quite passionately that the only way that we can make real change to the way that we're feeling is by looking inward and exploring some of those feelings in a safe space. Journaling prompts will be released um, every week and they are a really good idea to be used as that day's uh, daily five minute activity. But don't panic, if you're new to journaling, there's plenty of resources within the community that will get you started. So you've probably heard me mention the word a few times, but one of the strongest parts of the Mind in Bloom um, membership program is our community. So as humans, we evolved as pack animals and women especially would raise their young and undertake domestic duties as a group. Now, modern life, as I'm sure you can appreciate, is very different to that. Um, very often we're living miles away from our family and close knit group. And many of us don't know anyone that even lives in our village or town, let alone the street that we live on. This understandably puts a large amount of strain on us and adds quite considerably to our stress levels. Now, I'm not suggesting that Mind, a Mind and Bloom membership can help with your share of the childcare and domestic load, although that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Someone needs to do that. However, what it can do is to support you emotionally as you find your way to calm and happiness. We can provide encouragement and support when things go wrong or when you're struggling perhaps to find that five minutes uh, for yourself daily and come up with ways to help you get back into your daily practice. We'll be there as well, of course, to celebrate your successes. That first little green shoot appearing out of the ground, the first time a flower head opens that you've grown yourself or the first time that you create um, a lovely arrangement to go on your kitchen table that you're super, super proud of. We will be there to support you and celebrate you. So the last way that a uh, Mind, uh, Mind in Bloom membership um, will help you to find calm and happiness is via our monthly garden lives. So as well as the Facebook group support network, you will also have um, a chance to connect with your fellow Mind and Bloomers live once a month. This is a great way to put faces to names and get to know everybody a little better. Um, I will also be demonstrating that month's um, mindful gardening activity live. Yes, I'm sure there will be bloopers. I will try not to, but hey, I'm only human. We all make mistakes. Um, and also it's your opportunity to ask any questions about the programme, about um, any gardening or floristry activities that you would like to know more about or any wellbeing questions as well. It's been widely reported that isolation and loneliness is actually worse for our health than smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Mind in Bloom aims to change that by providing you with a support network that allows you to find your way back to a calmer and happier version of yourself. The waitlist for the 12 month membership programme is now open. I am launching it on the 27th of January as a beta version. So because of this, there will be a 25% discount on the sign up price. Um, but you will need to order it within that week um, of sales in order to get that price. Um, so you will want to be on the waiting list. So please come and find me over on Instagram. I'm at Adventures with Flowers. Um, send me a direct message and I can send you the link where you can sign up to be on the wait list. And you will be the first to hear when the sales open. Thanks so much. Look forward to seeing you there. Bye.